Hi, welcome to my show. My name is Emily Miller, and um, the show is all of my photographs, paintings, and um, sculptures that I've done in the last few years. Um, lots of different work. I, I did all of it um, in all different media and all different styles. Um, I work full-time as a graphic designer, and um, I do some freelance in the evenings as a graphic designer, too. And I'm also going to school to try and finish my degree. So, plenty of stuff to work on. <laughs> I have some work in galleries, but um, this is just really my first one woman, just my work show anywhere. Um, the work in galleries is just, you know, with other people's work too, that it's always, it's always up. So anyone can go by and see them anytime. Oh, I've been painting all my life. My parents would always give me huge pieces of newsprint and I would just draw all over them. And they have many, many fond memories of me as a baby drawing things. <laughs> So since then, I just you know started doing all different media. I love everything. So you know, all all the different photography and painting and sculpture. I just can't wait to try lots of new stuff. My family has been super supportive of me. Um, my boyfriend Patrick has been just like right there behind me the whole time. Just you know, this has been a lot of work. Just putting everything together in the evenings, you know, after work, trying to find time to get everything done, and he's been really supportive. Um, my dad and my, my stepmom, Peggy. Um, Peggy is actually coordinating the whole reception. So she's a wedding coordinator, so she's just taking care of it. <laughs> my dad is playing music. So it's really, I mean, I couldn't have done it by myself. It was, it was just too much, and everyone in my family really stepped up and helped. So Carol Yotsuda at Garden Island Arts Council, who's mentored hundreds and hundreds of other young artists. Um, and Penny Nichols at Island School. I also like to go out painting and photographing with my friend Helen, so we really keep each other going. She's an artist too, so. Kathy Cowan, who um, is the executive director for Kauai Recycling for the Arts and a glass artist. I've learned a lot from her, and a lot of my glass pieces are either made in their facility or directly inspired by, um, you know, she was my teacher. Um, I actually had taken a class at Kathy Cowan's house where, um, there's a whole sort of movement of glass bead makers, it's called lamp working, who make not only um, that kind of bead, but all different kinds of beads. So when I was taking that class, um, the teacher demonstrated one way to make these aquarium beads, and I, I really loved the idea of just a little undersea world encapsulated in a bead, so I've been making them. It was my idea to present them that way, I didn't make the stands. Um, I bought the stands, but, but yeah, the stands are actually for um, like, pyrite, gemstones, kind of thing, but it's the same sort of precious material, so. They're what's called sand cast. So we actually have a big sand box, and um, it's a special mix of sand and clay so that when you press um, forms into it, they stay really well. So you just make a negative of the form in the sand box, and um, you have some recycled glass of any color. That's Jealousy window glass just 100% melted down in a furnace, um, which I believe is around 2,300 degrees, just sitting there molten. And um, you stick an iron ladle in, scoop some glass up, and then just pour it into the sand mold. And then once it's set, once it's not glowing red anymore, and it's sort of almost to that light green color, but not quite, um, you take it out and put it in an annealer, which cools it down slowly over three days. If you cool it down too fast, the outside cools quicker than the inside, and it cracks. So it's really, you know, I make the piece and then a week later I get to see how it turned out. <laughs> so it's sort of like ceramics, you've got to wait to get your final result. Yeah, Emily Miller is one of my students and I've, she's amazing to work with. Um, she's been really imaginative and has created some brilliant work. We work together in the studio and um, you know, I'm just really proud to see what works come up. You know, she has the ability to find nature in her work. And, um, you know, she's a great student. She's a great artist to work with. And I'm really proud of her and all that she does. And I'm excited to see her grow this way. There's the photos that have been printed onto canvas. And then there's also watercolors and acrylics that were actually painted on canvas. So the photos are just, it's the same process as when you print a, a photo on paper. But um, 
the watercolors on canvas are actually a really new thing that I've just started experimenting with. It's just canvas like you do an oil painting on. And then you can fix it so you don't have to put it behind glass. So it really gives them a whole different look. It's just um, a big, huge, kind of a plotter-like machine that you just feed a roll of canvas into. And it prints it with archival ink so it'll last forever, basically, just the same as the ones on paper. This piece of Emily's, I feel very proud of it because um, I'm originally from New York, and the last time I went home, I brought her some uh, old whelk shells, and they're, I know she can see the beauty in these pieces of shell. So I brought her this piece, and I said, I just know you're gonna paint it. I don't know what you're gonna do, and she did. And I was terribly proud of this and that she did this. She also entered this one in a gallery in Oahu. It got juried into a very prestigious show over there. So I feel very happy about that because she's a great painter, excellent photographer, terrific friend, and uh, this is going to be an excellent show. Emily Miller is a good friend of mine and obviously a spectacular artist. And this particular piece is one of my favorites. Uh, it's a view from my own house. It says view from jeans. So uh, I hope somebody who does take it, if I don't take it, will enjoy the view as much as we do. Well, I just, I just had the idea of sort of an organic form that um, I made them white so that I could put them onto a standard gallery surface, a pedestal or a floor or something, so they would look sort of like they were part of the gallery, like they had grown there. And then you have paper urchins. Yes, those, are, those look um, yeah, kind of similar, same, same idea. Um, I love working with paper and plaster. So. They're all, it's all just um, sort of meant to look almost like a natural biological form, but it's not actually anything you see in nature. So it's like, you know, from, from somewhere else. And speaking of somewhere else, are any of these from somewhere else, or are they all from Kuwait? Um, I think a couple, that, um, the stone piece um, I did when I was in California, but I believe everything else here was done on Kauai. Um, all the paintings and all the photos are of Kauai. So on um, local scenes that most people will probably recognize. Yeah, all the metal sculptures were done actually at the KCC welding shop. I love taking pictures of rusty stuff. I just, I love how rusty metal looks. I love how old buildings look. Um, and Kauai is a great place for rust and old buildings. <laughs> so um, I've got a, a lot of photographs of that sort of thing. And that one I thought um, was one of the best. It really stood on its own. And, um, it's almost an abstract, but not quite. You can tell that it's something rusted, but you can't quite tell what it is that is rusted. And I couldn't tell either. It was a glass beach. It was one of those things that had just melted into the rock. Oh, and that's probably the one piece that's not Kauai. You're, you were wondering, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. That, that just came out of my head. No, I had a 35 millimeter camera for a long time, and some of these photos were taken with it, but I recently got a Canon 30D, and I love it. Um, partly just because you can take, you know, 200 pictures, and the 150 you don't like, you just hit the little delete button. You don't have to pay to get them developed or anything like that. And since I don't really have access to a darkroom on Kauai, that makes it a lot easier. I did recently have a chance to work with a large format camera and professional quality film, and really loved that but I think um, for now I'll stick with the digital. Um, thank you guys all for coming. Um, enjoy the show.